in today's drill down. I'm wondering, though, does a company like this even matter in the sphere of Oracle? Uh, that's exactly the question people have to answer right now. And that's the question that investors in Workday and I worked at have to answer. You know, in, in, in the drill down, we always want to look at the company uh, behind the stock on the move. There is no stock on the move with Workday yet. But let's take a quick look at Oracle over the course of the last five years, what's happened to that stock. Uh, and then I want to follow that up by taking a quick look at what's happened to Salesforce.com. So Oracle shares in five years, eh, that ain't nothing, 48%. Salesforce, definitely not nothing. But uh, if you look at the sales growth that's underlying those stock moves, you can see uh, what's going on at Oracle. And Oracle really, uh, despite all those acquisitions, acquisitions that John's talking about, just kind of bumping along in terms of sales growth. Look at Workday, however, what we've learned from looking at the SEC filing, what this company's been doing over the course of the last three years. 166% growth, 142% annual revenue growth. This business is growing very fast in ways that Oracle is not. And that is a reason that Oracle should be concerned and that uh, companies like Salesforce and Workday concern uh, the people at Oracle. And certainly they want that perception, of course, that they are competing with the big guys. So call me Captain Obvious, but it doesn't seem like a coincidence that this is happening at the same time as Oracle's big conference is going on. Look, exactly. I mean, Workday is going to ge generate a lot of interest here because people are looking at the software world, imagining how Oracle is going to grow next. Also coming in the heels of this uh, Salesforce conference, this Dreamforce conference. And, you know, what's going on with this company, the way this business works, is they're doing something that Oracle doesn't do. They're doing uh, HR software. Yes, Oracle does that through their PeopleSoft acquisition. Well, the guys behind Workday, Anil Bushri and Craig Conway, are the founders of PeopleSoft, a company that Oracle acquired because they couldn't figure out how to do HR software as well without PeopleSoft. This software, however, is sold in a very different way. Software as a service just like Salesforce sells CRM software as a service. This is HR software as a service from the guys who really invented that game. That's why Oracle's paying such attention here. So they are doing that much better. Did you find that out in the perspective? Well, I know you've been digging through that. As you dig through it, what you see from this company is you see a company that's really growing fast, as I mentioned, from a revenue basis. You see a company that's losing money, but you see them investing so heavily in the future. I want to show you two quick charts. One is their expenditures on an annual basis in R&D. And these are some big monies. They have been spending a lot of venture capitalist money, increasing amounts over the last three years. 25 million three years ago, 68 million a year ago, 134 million in the last year. But as a percentage of revenues, in spite of those big increases, frankly, they can't spend it enough. Because as a percentage of revenues, it's coming down and coming down and coming down. So it's getting to a point where they can't spend that much money in R&D. They're gonna start to reap the rewards. And you can see the business really ginning up to start turning a big profit. Yeah, okay, great. So they're growing like crazy, but let's just keep it real. They're eeny teeny, $134 million. Is that what the chart just said? Exactly. I mean, that, that's like a blimp on the radar of uh, and, Oracle. Uh, and and, and just, just a little blip on the radar of how much Oracle spending in R&D as well. But the, the thing is that this, this business model is in direct contrast to the way that Oracle sells. Oracle gets these, these big shot salesmen and their fancy BMWs, and they go out and they sell $10 million deals, and companies are on the hook for years and years to buy all kinds of software, Salesforce and Workday, and Workday, interestingly, with this filing, it's interesting stuff. It's a great reading to people like me. It's tiny little sales that are adding up to quite a bit. It's in diametrically opposed to Oracle's business model. For that reason, Oracle may have difficulty selling in this manner, creating a window for Workday. Are you saying that Workday's not rolling around in BMWs? Uh, I think they'll do just fine, but you know, it's a very different corporate culture out there in Pleasanton. I agree. Maybe than, uh, some Vespa. In swanky Redwood City where Oracle is.